Hey guys, welcome back. So, new Magic Master set came out, Masters 25, and as we've done with other Master sets, I'm gonna make Laura open the box and see what she makes of the cards in there. Everyone's favorite. Yeah, we did it for Eternal Masters, and then I think we filmed it for Iconic, but it was really late, so we never ended up loading it. Oops. All right, I'll open the box for you, I guess, Thank and you. then. You open some packs. So what we'll do is skip past the commons, show them off real quick, then we'll read out the names of the uncommons, and then read out what the rare does, is what okay. you did last time. Yep. That seemed to work out okay. Large unnecessary piece of cardboard. Alright, So how many commons are we looking at? Um, I think it's always nine because those are foil, so... I like him. You like Savannah Lions? Yeah. He used to be a rep. What do you think of the watermarks on the cards? Those are cool. Yeah. It's the... Okay, so that's your first uncommon. So we have a Spike Shot Goblin. He's pretty mean looking. Congregate. Genju of the Falls. Conflux. Black, red, wait, no, that's green. Green, red, black, Why blue. do you read right to left? I don't know. Okay. All the colors, and also three. <laughs> Sorcery. Search your library for a white card, a blue card, a black card, a red card, and a green card. Reveal those cards and put them into your hand. Then shuffle your library. That, I, that seems like a real commander card. Like, I don't know. We also got a foil. Is he any good? No. Do you know his name or anything? No. Or? He, oh, I, no, I can't even okay. read that. That's fine. Iwamori of the Open Fist. Yeah, yeah he can go on so, a pile somewhere. Okay. So yeah, every card has a watermark on it of the original set symbol of the set it's from. So like only the first set that it was ever printed in? Yeah. And every set ever from Magic's history has at least one card in the set. That's cool. Including like Rivals of Exelon and stuff that just came out, but also including like the starter set, the portal sets, the commander sets, all stuff like that. So it's ten commons. It's ten commons, okay. Yeah. Um, and we have Exclude. Urbis Protector. Oh yeah, because the four replaces the basic land. Never mind. That okay. Makes sense. Fierce Empath. Fetid Heath. It's a land. You can tap it to add any color to your mana pool. No, not even slightly. Nope, just kidding. I can read tap it to add colorless to your mana there pool. You go. Um, and then for a white or a black and tap it, you can add two white, a white and a black, or two black to your mana pool. So it just, like, doubles one of something that you already have. Well, it doesn't really double because you have to tap the other land and that land. Right, but... It seems fine. It filters the mana. They're called filter lands. Okay. We've been over, we've talked about those before. Sure. And then we have a foil brine elemental. Okay. Yeah. So it's it's a way like if you have a fetid heath and a plains, you can make double block if you need to. Right. Okay. Sure. I get it. Yeah. We have Brood Hatch Nantuko, Zulaport Cutthroat. There's Iwamori of the Open Fist, yeah. and a Protean Hulk. Five and two green for a six-six beast. When it dies, search your library for any number of creature cards with total converted mana cost six or less, and put them onto the battlefield. Then shuffle your library. That's cool. I like that. We make a big Hulk and then make it other little Hulks. Yeah, he got a he got a card banned from Legacy, and he was banned in Commander for the longest time. Aww. Because there's a card which is also in the set as a rare. It's called it's fl it's called Flash. Yeah, it's called Flash. It's, it's one in a blue. Put a creature card from your hand onto the battlefield. Then you can either pay it mana cost minus two. Okay. Or sacrifice it. Yeah. So if you just flash in the Hulk. And then sacrifice it? Then you immediately sacrifice it, 
That's great. And then you, there were amounts of cards you could get that would immediately win you the game. Yeah, I just believe it. And it's if you can draft the two together in, like just the limited format, it's also great because just on turn two you get six mana worth of creatures. Oh. oh, he's from a new set, right? Yeah, that's he's from Ixalan and Rivals of Ixalan. Mm -hmm. He's been in three draft sets in a row now. Oops. So we have a Zada Hedron Grinder. That was rare last time. Angelic Page. So Sigh of the Shinobi. And a Chroma Angel of Fury. Three red and five. Legendary Angel, six six. Can't be countered. Has flying, trample, protection from white and from blue. Um, you tap red and it gets plus one, plus zero until end of turn. And it's also a morph. That seems great. I mean, it's it's a giant dumb creature. I like it. It's the first mythic from the box, it's too. It's a big dumb angel, and I love it. And we have a foil Nettleson. I think that's my favorite so far. The Acroma. The, the big dumb angel. The big dumb angel. Yeah. I also like the big dumb green guy. The protein hulk. Yeah. Okay. We have a stampede driver. Freed from the real. Okay. Quick silver dagger. And a Brian Stout Arm. <sighs> Red, white, two. Legendary 4 4 Giant Warrior with Lifelink. Red and tap it. Sacrifice another creature. He deals damage equal to the sacrificed creature's power to target player. Eh. I, nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah. Foil enthralling vi Victor. That's uh, just too much. I don't want to have to deal with all that stuff going on. But you like the Chroma who had 7,000 keywords? Yeah. Okay. I mean, if you have all the keywords, then you just have all the keywords. It's fine. You're like the epitome of the Timmy Tammy uh, entry on the player chart, or whatever it's called. Like big stupid creatures. <laughs> we have a Stang. <laughs> merfolk looter. That's probably fine because it's a merfolk. Quicksilver dagger. And a Living Wish. Green and one sorcery. You may choose a creature or land card you own from outside the game. Reveal that card and put it into your hand. Exile Living Wish. That's like a combo card, right? People play that. No? Not that no, one. They just play kidding. some wishes. All right. I don't think that one. And then a foil Kindle. I mean, it, it puts a card from, from your sideboard. sideboard into your hand. All right, never mind. That seems not the best. Is that a jackal pup? Yeah. Hello. <laughs> Lord, just randomly <laughs> like a jackal pup. We have a red elemental blast, caustic tar, a brine elemental, and a reform. Blue and three. When reform dies, create a three three blue fish creature token with. When this creature dies, create a 6-6 six, six blue whale creature token with When this creature dies, create a 9-9 nine, nine blue kraken creature token. I love it! This is the best! We're so, gonna take all of these and put them in a deck and make a million whales. Blue krakens and whales and everything. It's gonna be great. And we have a foil village. Okay. Had you never seen the card reef one before? I don't know. It was just it was in uh, one of the commanders. I just I thought you'd seen it before. I love it. I'm so excited to make nine nine krakens. In what format? Uh all of them.
two cards of bears right next to each other. We do like bears. <laughs> we have a Kindle. Cool. That was was that a common? That was still a common. I can't count. <laughs> God. A Street Wraith. A Croson Tusker. Pyroclasm. That's a red card. I like red cards. And look at that fancy. That's nice. The snowflake. Yeah. That's Ice Age. We have a Bident of Thassa. Two blue and two. Legendary enchantment artifact. Whenever a creature you control deals combat damage to a player, you may draw a card. One blue and tap. Creatures your opponents control attack this turn if able. That, sure. That, I mean, that's card draw. That's fine. We can put it with our thing that makes whales. We have a foil wild heart invoker. Okay. I have a new favorite. The, the reef worm? Yeah, the thing that makes krakens and whales and all sorts. Well, you move up the, uh, the food chain. I like it a lot. We have another red elemental blast. Angelic page. Humble defector. And a vindicate. White, black, one, sorcery, destroy target, permanent. We always like those. Yeah. Destroy a thing. That's good. And a foil, graders. Okay. <laughs> we have Zada, Hedron Grinder, Kavu Predator, an Iyer Shaman, and is it Chemister? Red 2, Haste, it's a 1, 3. Red and tap, exile, target, instant, or sorcery card from your graveyard. 1, red and tap, sacrifice, is it Chemister? Cast any number of cards exiled with is it Chemister without paying their mana costs. That seems fun. Like, you could play with that. Refoil Court H Husser? Hussar? Sure. Fish that makes more fish. No. It wasn't a fish, it was a worm. You're that a made fish. worm that makes. Just. Just read the cards. I lost count again. There, you go. there we go. Some, some Valor and Acros. Twisted Image. A Fallen Angel. Creepy. Master of the Wild Hunt. Is that a mythic? Yep. That's a mythic. Two green and two. A human shaman, a 3-3. Three, three. At the beginning of your upkeep, create a 2-2 two, two green wolf creature token. I like wolves. And then you can tap it, him to tap all untapped wolf creatures you control. Each wolf tapped this way deals damage equal to its power to target creature. That creature deals damage equal to its power divided as its controller chooses among any number of those wolves. Um, I mean, if is there a wolf deck? Can you make a wolf deck? I would make a wolf deck. Would you? Yeah. Okay. I made a cat deck. It was great. We have a foil woolly loxodon. You didn't really make the cat deck. Like, there was a cat deck in standard and I built it for you. Somebody made me a cat deck. I played with cats. I would play with wolves. Yeah. Lions and tigers and bears. Oh my. Alright, we have an ancient craving. An ancient stirrings. A ravenous chupacabra. And a chroma's vengeance. Four and two white sorcery destroy all artifacts, creatures, and enchantments. With cycling three. That seems good. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it seems like a sideboard card probably, right? Sure. Maybe. Maybe. And we have a foil blightening. 
That's really cool. I like I like that art with the foil. Yeah. It looks good. They did a good job. I'm sure they'll be happy to know you think that. <laughs> Some artist did a fantastic job. Ten years ago. Ten years ago or more. We have Mishra's Factory. Lore Scale Codal. Myriad Landscape, and an Elvish Piper, three and a green, Elf Shaman, it's a 1-1. One, one. Green and tap it, you may put a creature card from your hand onto the battlefield. That's cool. If you play an Elves, like, you play that, right? I don't think so. Surely it's better if you're playing big creatures rather than those little ones. Yeah, but that lets you put your big creatures down. I give up. <laughs> and a Nile spell bomb. That one also looks good in foil. Yeah. It's also pretty playable. It's way more playable than that elf guy you like. <sighs> Exile's graveyard. Oh, well, exile your graveyard. These insults are really weird on camera. Why do you keep saying that? I don't know. Uh we have Isson's Shade. I Help. I don't know how you pronounce that. Eisen's Shade. Eisen's Shade. Regrowth. Murder of Crows. That's clever. And El Eldamiri's. Eladomiri's. Eladomiri's Call. Green and white. Search your library for a creature card. Reveal that card. Put it into your hand. Then shuffle your library. Let me read that. I... No. No? No. Okay. And a foil brood hatch Nantuko. Yeah, not impressed. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Your level of what impresses you is really off. <laughs> it's, a re it's just really random. We have a Mishra's Factory. An Ancient Craving. A Nyx Fleece Ram. I don't like that guy. And a Pact of Negation. It it doesn't cost anything. It's an instant. Counter target spell. At the beginning of your next upkeep, pay three and two blue. If you don't, you lose the game. Oh, I see why it doesn't cost anything now. Okay. Um. So that's played in decks, right? Yeah. That I mean, that seems pretty good. Like, if... You know, if you can get the mana to pay for it. Or if you win before your next upgate. Or if you win before your next upgate. Yeah, sure. And we've also got a foil health caretaker. That's a foil, right? Neat. Yeah. Just didn't care enough about that right to read it out. <laughs> the foil, right? No, just keep going. Okay. This is hard. I've got short arms. It's hard to reach around the camera. You also got a short attention span. <laughs> Alright, we have Valor and Akros, Exclude, Corona Zealot, and a Fortune Thief, 4 and a red. Damage that would reduce your life total to less than 1 reduces it to 1 instead. And it's a Morph, and it's a 0 1. I like it! I like it! Okay. And a Foil Relentless Rats. Blech. The noise of rat names. Yeah. That's the noise that I make when I see a rat. Okay. You'll always know if there are rats around. Alright, we have a watch wolf. He's cute. An invigorate. A brow beat. And a coalition relic. It's an artifact that costs three. You can tap it to add one mana of any color to your mana pool. Tap it to put a charge counter on it. At the beginning of your pre-combat main phase, remove all charge counters from Coalition Relic. Add one mana of any color to your mana pool for each charge counter removed this way. Was this, like, made back when mana burn was a thing? Um, no, I don't think so. Well, I don't understand. I think mana burn at that point. So what what is confusing you? Just 
Like, why would you put a charge counter on it? Well, if you don't need the mana one turn, then at the end of your opponent's turn you put a charge counter on it. So then in your first main phase you get a mana for taking the charge counter off, and then you get a mana for tapping it. So it can give you two extra mana in one turn sometimes. Okay. And foil savannah lions. Right. I like them. It's kind of neat in the stack up that you're making for all the cards fall over everywhere. It's fine. It's not fine. I was about to make another stack, but okay, well, I guess I'll just make the same well, stack. Well, no, still make the new stack. Alright, we have a lull. That's still coming. We have an Ancient Stern, there you go. <laughs> and an Ire Shaman, and a Corona Zealot, and Eldamri's... El Still Eldamri. Eldamri's Call. We already read that one. Can we I skip over sure. it? Sure. Excellent. And a Foil White Mane Lion. We liked that. Did you? The, Did like the White Mane Lion? Yeah. It's a lion. What's not to like? I know, these random creature types. Uh, it's normally dragons. I like cute and cuddly creatures. No, you don't. You like dragons and bears. And lions. That's you can't cuddle any of those. Close enough. Congregate. Lightning Bolt. I know that card. We oh. like Lightning Bolt. Promise of Bunray. And a Plague Wind. Seven and two black. Wow, that's expensive. Sorcery. Destroy all creatures you don't control. They can't be regenerated. That seems really expensive, but, I mean, it's good, but... Does black play that many <laughs> mana? And a foil skeleton eye. Okay, we have five packs left, and it should be at least one more missing in there. Maybe two. Hopefully some better res. We have a... what is that? Perilous. Perilous Murr. An Undead Gladiator. A Kavu Predator. And a Rat Catcher. Four and two black. For a 4-4 four, four, or... Ogre. Yeah. Jeez. Like Ogre, like Shrek. Ogre, <laughs> there we go. He's got fear, so he can't be blocked except by artifact creatures and black creatures. At the beginning of your upkeep, you may search your library for a rat card, reveal it, put it into your hand, then shuffle your library. No. Foil Ravenous Chupacabra. No. You don't like Ravenous Chupacabra? No, I don't want a Chupacabra time. I don't want like, a rat guy. Okay. So can get some other rats. Okay. We have a Crosin Tusker, Enthralling Victor, Utopia Sprawl, and Flash. One and a blue instant. You may put a creature card from your hand onto the battlefield. If you do, sacrifice it unless you pay its mana cost reduced by up to two. So that's the thing. That's the one I mentioned. I get it. With the Hulk. Yeah. That's fine. We like that. Sure. And a foil ruthless ripper. Okay. Three, three packs to go. And we're hoping for another mythic. I would want at least one more mythic. Yeah. We've only hit two so far, haven't we? Yeah. Just a chroma and the mask. We have a Balath Knoll, Myriad Landscape, a Ravenous Chupacabra, and that's a mythic, that right? That is a mythic. Armageddon. Green, er, green, jeez louise, white, <laughs> and three. I don't know my colors anymore. Destroy all lands. Um, yeah. Yeah, that, that, good, not good. I don't know, what are you, what I'm are gonna you say it's me? good. Okay. Is it good? We That's like good. Thalia. There we go. Some people like Thalia. Foil Thalia. Foil Thalia is nice. It might be the most valuable card we've had in this box yet. We have 
What? Kongming? Sleeping Dragon? Okay. Blue Elemental Blast. A Shadow Mage Infiltrator. And Triskaidekaphobia. Three and a black. Enchantment. At the beginning of your upkeep, choose one. Each player with exactly 13 life loses the game. Then each player gains one life. Each player with exactly 13 life loses the game. Then each player loses one life. That's fun. I like that. That could be a fun thing to play with. And a foil sift. Alright, so what are we hoping for in this pack? In order to have not hemorrhaged money on this box, I think I'm hoping for a foil gaze the mind sculpt deck. So basically sorry. <laughs> it's not your fault, but Alright. We have a blinding. Heavy Arbalist. Treasure Keeper. And a Courser of Crufix. One and two green enchantment creature. He's a 2-4. You play with the top card of your library revealed. You may play the top card of your library if it's a land card. Whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, you gain one life. I know he's annoying to play against. I don't like it. Yeah. And a foil Dusk Legion Zealot. That is not a Jace the Mind. Oh, God. Well, that was a really bad box. They, yeah, I didn't really see anything that was very exciting other than that beautiful blue worm thing. That, like, ten cent bullet bear or something? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, wow. So, yeah, I'll probably be buying some more masters, but, yeah, opening products hit and miss, and that one was definitely a miss. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, well, hopefully people at least enjoyed watching me hemorrhage away my money. <laughs> I know I didn't. Yeah. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed watching Laura at least uh, get confused over what cards did and forget what colors were. <laughs> but either way, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Thanks for watching. Check out some more videos right here. And don't forget to subscribe for more awesome Pokemon content from DJ Gigabyte. Gotta, Gotta catch, catch them all! all. <laughs>